The cattle head holder from Bridgeway is a device used to restrain the head of cattle during various operations. It is a two-piece head restraint that clamps down on the animal's neck. This ensures that cattle cannot thrash around, providing a safer and more controlled environment for both the animal and the handler. The device is designed for quick and effective one-man operation for dosing and giving boluses. After that, cattles are moved to the Jarvis Pneumatic Stunner. This is a high-speed, non-penetrating stunner designed for cattles. Its unique design renders the stunned animal insensible to pain, without penetrating the skull. The non-penetrating design of the stunner results in better stunning, which can lead to improved meat quality. The Jarvis Jiva Dehider is a pneumatic dehider designed for precision engineering. The device is designed for perfect hides, making the dehiding process as seamless as possible. It features a dynamically balanced drive mechanism for low vibration and reduced wear. The dehider has an extra thin head with a stainless steel center plate for exceptional handling and strength. The Jiva dehider skins perfectly, leaving no cuts, marks, or holes, and produces the highest possible quality hides. The Jarvis JR-50 Robotic Beef Splitter is an automated system designed to precisely and efficiently split beef carcasses down the backbone. Its components include 1. Robotic Arm, a 6-axis robotic arm maneuvers with high precision and speed, controlled by an industrial hardened real-time controller. 2. Vision System, real-time 3D vision technology accurately identifies the carcass anatomy, ensuring consistent and optimal cuts. 3. Saw Head, a servo-driven saw head utilizes a thin, around 1 mm, blade for minimal bone dust and precise cuts. 4. Backup Support Station, a belt-driven system with a carcass stabilizer secures and positions the carcass for accurate splitting. 5. Sanitization System, the saw head is sanitized between carcasses. Promoting Hygiene and Food Safety The beef carcass is positioned on the backup support station. The 3D vision system analyzes the carcass size and shape, determining the optimal splitting path. The robotic arm, guided by the vision system, precisely manipulates the saw head, following the predetermined path to split the carcass down the center. Real-time adjustments are made during cutting based on any variations detected by the vision system, ensuring consistent results. After each cut, the saw head is automatically sanitized for hygiene. This splitter have certain benefits for manufacturers. The JR-50 can split carcasses at speeds of up to 450 per hour, significantly faster than manual methods. The robotic arm and vision system ensure precise and consistent cuts, minimizing yield loss and product variation. The automation removes workers from the potentially hazardous task of manual splitting, improving safety on the processing line. Automation can reduce labor requirements, contributing to lower operational costs. Co The automatic rib puller is maximizing yield and optimizing results in the total belly and side ribs operation, the vision system acquires over 300,000 measurements to create a precise 3D model used to determine bone and belly shape. 
A six-axis robot accurately performs the cutting motion synchronously with the conveyor while the spike chain and vacuum system holds the belly in place. Inline scale provides feedback to the puller for weight validation and dynamic adjustments. The National Turkey Federation NTF, primarily represents turkey farmers and processors, not directly raising or processing birds themselves. They advocate for best practices and guidelines, but individual farms have their own operations. The most commonly domesticated breed of turkey is the broad-breasted white, which is raised to produce more breast meat and meatier thighs. Turkeys are typically raised in large, environmentally controlled barns with climate control and protection from predators and diseases. They are fed a balanced diet of grains, corn, soybeans, supplemented with vitamins and minerals. Modern breeding and management practices contribute to their larger size compared to wild turkeys. On average, it takes 75 to 80 pounds of feed to raise a 38-pound tom turkey. The NTF promotes animal welfare guidelines, but concerns exist about living conditions and potential for pain during processing. They maintain resources on their website about industry efforts to improve animal welfare. The National Thanksgiving Turkeys, for example, come from farms of NTF members and go through a selection process based on appearance, temperament, and health. Turkeys are transported to processing facilities in specially designed, temperature-controlled crates. Prior to slaughter, they are typically stunned electrically or with CO2 to minimize pain and suffering. Processing involves automated and manual steps for defeathering, evisceration, and final cleaning. USDA inspectors are present at every step to ensure food safety and adherence to regulations. The meat is then further processed, packaged, and distributed. Turkey is a popular source of meat in the United States. In 2019 alone, people in the US ate 5.3 billion pounds of turkey. That works out to about 16.1 pounds per person. It's also twice as much as people ate just 50 years ago. Since then, scientists have learned a lot about the many good things that turkey can do for your health. Turkey packs a powerful nutritional punch and it's healthier overall than red meat. Many people choose it as a replacement for beef in recipes. Remember, while turkey is a healthy source of protein and other nutrients, it's important to consume it as part of a balanced diet. Meatech Food Machineries India Private Limited is a company that specializes in manufacturing complete modern slaughterhouses and rendering plants, including those for sheep. The rotary boxes are designed to enable sheep to be slaughtered efficiently and ergonomically at various capacities and sizes. Meatech excels in all technicalities of modern slaughter lines and dry rendering plants in respect of design and manufacture, quality control, hygiene, and safety. Their machines are tested to work continuously in any environment with less effort and expenses on spares. They provide a variety of equipments, lines and stations for this process, include, sheep restrainer with halal table, bleeding line, dressing line, leg preparation platform, pre-skinning platform slash station, sheep hide puller, sheep head and red offal conveyor, evisceration station, trimming and washing platform, deboning chiller line. Processing sheep in Meatec factory involves several steps to transform live sheep into various meat products. Live sheep are transported to the facility, then are inspected for health and quality. The next step is stunning, which renders the sheep unconscious before slaughter. Common stunning methods include electrical, captive bolt, or gas stunning. Once stunned, sheep are moved to the bleeding area. Throat cutting is performed to allow the blood to drain out. After bleeding, the sheep may undergo deherring or skinning processes. D 
Deherring removes the hair from the carcass. The carcass is opened, and internal organs are removed, the goal is to prepare the meat for further processing. Carcasses are inspected for any abnormalities or contamination. Carcasses are then cooled to ensure food safety and preserve meat quality. Chilled storage helps prevent bacterial growth. Carcasses are cut into different cuts and products. Processed meat is packaged for distribution and sale. Packaging may include vacuum sealing, labeling, and other quality control measures. Finally, the packaged meat is distributed to retailers, markets, or other points of sale.